is the fact that PSL franchises have already started their work. One such franchise who has been uh, supporting all kinds of initiatives throughout Pakistan and I think one of the very few that has been going hand in hand with different organizations for a lot of social work indeed at the same time as well and now they're stepping in to provide basic healthcare and professional training to skill development as well at the same time to different people that are the franchise of Peshawar Zalme that have been of course putting a lot in place you look at their healthcare projects and now they've partnered up with an MOU that has been sound by, uh, signed by the Peshawar Zalme Foundation and the Arar group at the same time as well and the Zalmi Foundation would be working in areas of public health care both groups would jointly be providing skill development and training the uh, MOU was signed at a ceremony in Peshawar and of course it was signed there in this ceremony and it is going to be all about this as well Now, I've been joined on a line with the CIO of the Peshawar Zalmi Foundation, who's going to be joining us. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Welcome to Sports Extra. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, on behalf of the entire team of Peshawar Zalmi and Zalmi Foundation, our chairman, Javed Afridi Sahab, uh, Assalamu alaikum and thank you for having me. Right, Dr. Cedric Edwin, we've got to talk about uh, the fact that uh, global healthcare is something that we see reforming, especially in the testing times of the COVID-19 pandemic. Peshawar Zalme has gone a step above sports activities. They're now going to be partnering with the RR group for uh, healthcare, especially, and skill development at the same time. How important would you see the MOU signing at a time when this is a need of the hour, sir? Well, this is of paramount importance. The um, Zalmi Foundation and Ahrar Group have been conducting research uh, on the spread of this virus for many, many months now. Uh, and we have established, we have found out certain key areas uh, in which this virus is being spread uh, quite fast. Uh, and we have identified those areas, uh, especially the hospitals and the paramedic staff. And we have developed certain programs for them uh, so that we can contain this virus as much as we can. Um, and as uh, you know, uh, it is very famously said in the health sector, that uh, prevention is the best cure. So we are uh, ensuring that uh, we take the necessary measures uh, to prevent as much as we can. And as you know that you know, the Zalmi uh, team has uh, the, the players and the stars uh, and the reach uh, in the among the teenagers and the youngsters that it can, give, it can influence their mindset and it can uh, help them understand this pandemic more easily. Definitely. Uh, Dr. Cedric Emil Edwin, you said th that the Zalmi Foundation, a non-profit initiative of Shavar Zalmi, strives for health education, uh, vocational training development program and youth mobilization. Sir, we understand that Pakistan is one of the few countries that has a youth potential and a population of the youth of more than 60%. How is this going to be a game changer, sir, when we see that our youth, especially those who do not belong to privileged backgrounds, are given this sort of training and they can contribute to the national economy? Yeah, so um, now let me give you a little bit of a background, if you don't mind. Uh, as you know that Peshawar Zalmi uh, was established in 2015, uh, and it was in our DNA that we were very socially responsible. We had uh, many CSR activities. Uh, just to name uh, a few, uh, you know, uh, we have just conducted our Madrasa League, a group of students who are often ignored uh, from the limelight. Uh, we took the students of Army Public School Peshawar to the way uh, twice to see the PSL matches and interact with the team. Uh, we launched our uh, new um, kit at the Shrakut Khanum for the kids there. And we organized various different sports galas uh, for the minorities and the differently abled. Uh, so we strongly feel that sports uh, creates harmony, it creates discipline, and it can be used as a vehicle to impart uh, skills. Now, uh, talking about uh, Zalmi Foundation as of today, and you rightly mentioned that it's a not-for-profit organization, it's a skills development and competence building organization. And uh, you you know that you know a lot of people uh, all along uh, in this country are working towards the digitalization of the economy digital, uh, and imparting digital skills. And now Zelmi Foundation is working uh, in five main sectors uh, to uh, digitalize and to help uh, create uh, the digital Pakistan dream. And these five uh, sectors are uh, ICT and vocational training. Uh, these are tourism, health, of course, um, sports uh, is definitely there, and responsibility citizenship. So these are the five broad areas in which we'll be uh, identifying different kinds of courses, um, virtual and on-site courses, and we'll be trying to make sure that the youth uh, knows how to digitalize these processes. 
Definitely indeed. Dr. Cedric Emil Edwin, thank you so much and congratulations to you and the Zalmi Foundation for this great initiative, sir.